My gaming chair is here. Super excited. Let's put it together. All right, we're starting to get the pieces out. I think this thing's going to look pretty nice. It has these chrome legs. I like that they put all the different pieces in this blister pack. Um, even the graphics on the levers look kind of cool. The little pillows and even the wheels. I like this black and white aesthetic. So this was uh, this, so far this is looking kind of neat. A couple attentions to detail that I want to call out here because while I so I don't forget because I got to give these guys kudos. Obviously this is a budget gaming chair, right? Yet they still took a couple of extra steps. So when you cut open the box, it mentions no box cutters, but in the event like you did, they did have a strip of cardboard underneath the horizontal line there. Um, but also, they give you all the tools you need, as you saw, including this wrench. This, I was like, why is it this size? Because of areas like this, where you need to get in and tighten the screws here, and this will clear all of the mechanisms. I mean, it's little things like that that I truly appreciate. So kudos to GT Player, because yeah, things like this make this assembly a breeze. More impressions. This piece of metal, this bracket that holds on the back of the chair to the front of the chair, this is thick. This is heavy, but one of my other favorite attention to detail is they could have just left this backside exposed, but no, there is literally a Velcro flap that goes right over that to mask the hardware back there. I just think that is something kind of surprising in a budget chair. All right, folks, I just finished the assembly of my GT Player gaming chair, and I'm this chair is so comfortable. I'm gonna try, let's see, without looking like I'm absolutely gigantic. So I'm 200 pounds, I'm 5'9". Look at this thing, this thing has a leg, a retractable leg rest. This is so comfortable. Um, so let's take another angle. So we've got, this is what it looks like, all complete. I mean, my gosh, doesn't that just kind of look handsome? I like the black and white look. Um, the whole thing swivels around, of course, obviously. The leg rest is super comfy and it does retract in, though let me see if I can do it with like one foot. You have to flip the thing down and then push the rest in. There we go, that actually wasn't too bad. So it just sits right underneath there like that. Pretty nice, and now I can do the full 360 swivel. Very, very nice, oh God, whoops. So yeah, this is actually really exciting. The chair fits good. It reclines. Obviously, the different adjustments down there. I love the chrome legs, black and white wheels. Everything looks good. It went together like a breeze. Um, one other major thing I want to say is that it... Um, None of the screws, because I've put together a lot of low quality furniture before, cheap budget furniture, and sometimes when you're getting a screw just snug, it like strips out in instantly. None of these screws came anywhere close, and I tightened them all down pretty good. The other kind of cool thing, I don't know how often I'm going to use it, oh my gosh, I'm like destroying everything around me, is this lumbar support pillow actually has a USB connection because it'll vibrate. It's a massaging USB thing. So, I mean, okay, so we're talking like, what, 113 bucks is what I think I paid for it with free shipping through Amazon. I think, number one, it looks cool. Number two, it is super comfy. It has that pull-out footrest, full recline features. It'll hold up to 250 pounds, which means even a, someone like me can sit in here. It has the massaging lumbar support pillow, it, and, uh, what else? It went together good quality materials. Um, it came with all these spare pieces. So yeah, for a budget gaming chair, I highly recommend this. This is fantastic. I got this, like I said, if you missed my other video, because I'm going to a big LAN event at some uh, arena here locally, and they have metal folding chairs, but they also recommend if you have a gaming chair to bring it, bring it. 
So I was like, yeah, I don't want to sit in a, you know, a metal folding chair the entire time. So I thought I would just pick this up. I don't know how often, if ever, I'll be back to this thing. So this was just kind of a one-off purchase. Um, so I was just obviously wanting to go for something a little more inexpensive like this because some of those office chairs or full-on gaming chairs from like Secret Lab and stuff, 400, 500, if not more dollars. And I'm like, well, if I was actually going for a permanent office chair, then yeah, I, I may shell out that cash. But for like a one-off situation, no, I'm just going to throw some money at a budget option. And honestly, I think this is a fantastic, not only budget option, I would not mind this being like my permanent chair. All right, folks, that'll do it for the GT Player Chair.